I am the word of the Lord. Some call me Metatron. And I read for you the chapter of Jagadiel. Poor Jagadiel. The story of the archangel Jagadiel is both complicated and tragic. Known originally as Reguel the Proud, the Archangel of Friday, he was one of the most passionate and loving of the archangels. Reguel's fondness for life was unmatched among his kind and an inspiration to all. But something happened to Reguel that even he did not expect. He fell in love with a human. A female named Hava, born into chaos of humanity's first world war. Drawn to Hava's spirit as much one like his own, Raguel observed her optimism and joy in the face of great darkness. Her choice to go hungry in order to feed the starving, and her will to risk her own life to save others from certain death. She made the most of each day that her troubled life offered, and so his admiration blossomed into something much more. Raguel was so impressed with Hava that he prepared for her a special place of honor in heaven to which he would personally escort her when her day arrived. However, he discovered she had been unjustly marked for death long before her time, simply because of her faith. The period of Earth's history would later become known as the Holocaust, and she was Yehuda, a Jew. Forbidden from traveling to Earth, Raguel implored his brother Raphael, the Archangel of Tuesday, to prevent her untimely death, or at least ensure her soul would not lose its way within the gates of heaven. But Raphael was unmoved. He did not share Raguel's affection for human life. The value of the human soul was, to Raphael, no more than your fuel for the powers of heaven and hell. Raguel was determined to rescue Hava, and so he violated the laws of heaven and descended to earth on Tuesday. He cared not that his body shuddered, weakened, and slowed as it passed through the archangel well. Hava, his love, must be saved. But it was too late. When Raguel finally reached Hava, she was already burning alive at the hands of her executioners. He reached out to grab her hand as she screamed in agony, but could not take hold. Her body dissolved to ash in the air around him. As he absorbed her pain into himself, he did not realize that he too had begun to burn. Raguel himself screamed in agony. <coughs> Both body and spirit. Too weak to act as he watched her soul ascend to heaven alone. I ordered Raphael to recover Raguel, but what returned was merely a smoking, burning shell of his former self. His vessel permanently damaged, he was bound and contained in the hope that he eventually would recover. He did not. Believing himself a failure as an angel, Raguel renounced his name, no longer proud. He is now referred to as Jagudiel, the Ruined. He remains secluded in his chambers, enduring an eternity of pain and heartbreak and yet ever loyal in the service of the Lord. Should the day come in the defense of heaven, he would be called by his new name, Jagudiel.